Frequently in our daily practice, we are able to recognize non-medical factors that affect our patient's health. Many of these social and environmental influences predict disease risk and support or inhibit the patient's ability to make healthy lifestyle choices and carry out treatment recommendations. This brief presentation will introduce a tool that may help you teach your learners to consider and address these factors through their social history and professional roles. The socioecologic model postulates that health is determined by many factors beyond the individual's biology. These factors include the individual's behavior, which may in turn be influenced by his or her social, family, and community networks, the context of living and working conditions and exposures, and indeed the broad social, economic, cultural, and environmental conditions in which we live and practice, including the policies that govern these. The socioecologic model can be very helpful in fleshing out the factors that might lead to or modify a specific health condition such as in this example, which was created by a medical student to summarize her literature review on risk, factor for, risk factors for elder abuse. But how do we apply the socioecologic model to patient care? We start with a premise that patient-centered care occurs when the physician and patient can come together to understand each other's perspectives, preferences, values, etc. But this doesn't occur in a vacuum, as it may seem in a small exam room with just the one-on-one -on -one encounter. The patient's life occurs within the context of a family or household, which may influence his or her beliefs and be the source of stress or support. The physician's care occurs in the context of a care setting or system, which may have guidelines and policies or an environment that influences the patient's perception of care. And all of this occurs in the context of a healthcare system that determines access, quality of care, and the cost the patient can expect. If the patient doesn't have access to the physician, then of course this care never occurs at all. So we pulled these ideas together with the sociologic model to encourage broader thinking about influences on patient health, such as the community context and resources, which may influence care directly, and broader societal policies and indirect influences, such as the economy and education. These indirect influences may seem out of the professional domains of a physician's influence, but are they? Perhaps just understanding these factors and how they impact the patient's life and decisions can help us provide better patient-centered care. One application of this model is to guide the taking and interpretation of a detailed social history. A patient's social history can be mapped to various aspects of the model. As outlined in this slide, one gains a more thorough understanding of the patient's health influences from their home situation, their ability to interact with the health system, neighborhood assets and risks, general education or literacy, as well as exposures to toxins, violence, travel hazards. Understanding these influences and contexts for a patient can influence the care we provide. This model can also help to flesh out sources of health disparities. According to the Center for Disease Prevention, health disparities are preventable differences in the burden of disease, injury, violence, or opportunities to achieve optimal health care or optimal health that are experienced by social disadvantaged, socially disadvantaged populations. There is ample evidence that health and health care disparities exist for many vulnerable or marginalized populations, and many of these can be diagrammed in our model. Examples include provider bias, language, literacy, clinic factors that improve access, inclusiveness, and community factors such as access to healthy foods and safe places to play. Are there things we can do as physicians to reduce these disparities? The pink bubbles in this diagram provide some examples of things a community-responsive physician can do, from personal development, structuring of a clinical environment, and working with local resources to meet patient needs, to advocating for policies that improve health and reduce disparities. The printable teaching tool worksheet can be used to identify factors within a social history that may influence health. It can also be used to explore factors that impact risk of a specific health condition or systems factors that may contribute to health disparities. We would love to have you use this tool and to hear examples of how or if this tool has been helpful in your own teaching. Thank you.